Okay, true story. Probably 06 ish. I was at an Indiana game. I was covering Indiana. Uh, Tom Crean was the head coach. I, I made it a point to go watch practices the day before as often as I could. Um, it was a Saturday noon ish game. So they have a practice uh, Friday night in Assembly Hall. And it's me and the SID sitting there. And we're like halfway up the stands at Assembly Hall. And the ball was on the baseline and Crean had just lost it with his team. And it was a really good team. They made a deep run in the tournament. Uh, I think Oladipo was on that team. A guy by the name of Will Sheehy. Oh, one nice. of the, uh, one of the big guys who are the, anyway, like they had less, uh, one of the Zellers, Cody Zeller was on that team. Uh, anyway, so the ball is on the baseline. Crean is fed up with his team. He starts losing it on him. And like it, it got to the point, and we've all been at these practices or a part of them, where like you just look down, you know, like I, I make sure that my laptop is closed and I'm not holding a pen because I don't want a coach to think that I'm taking notes, you know. And then right. he said this, and then he said, so it's like you, you put everything out. down, <laughs> you put everything down, and you just kind of look around the building, like, oh, look at that. You got, you know, I, I hope he doesn't see me. And then he stops and he looks up at me and the SID and he goes, that's it. Hart, get the F out of here. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, really? Like I, that Bloomington is a really fun town on a Friday night. Like I chose to be at this practice at eight o'clock and, and you're throwing me out. So before the SID could apologize, I already had my stuff in my bag. I was like, bro, no sweat. Like, I, like this is good by me. And so I leave and obviously is nothing I had done, but I was kind of curious, like, why did he throw me out? Like I'd already seen all the bad stuff. The next day before the game, I'm sitting there courtside and Cody Zeller and Will Sheehy are stretching and Zeller looks up and he goes, Hey man, you want to know why you got thrown out yesterday? I was like, well, I don't want you to think that I really care because I don't, <laughs> I don't really care. It doesn't bother me but I'm a little bit curious. He goes, yeah, we all talked about it after practice. He's like, right when you got thrown out, he goes, I did a quick survey. I looked at the entire team, all the assistants, the trainer. And we realized you were the only one in the building that had yet to be thrown out of a practice this year. So <laughs> it was just the numbers thing. So now I'm on That's the court awesome. having this conversation with those dudes. I'm like, like, this is, this is why I enjoy my job. That was for yeah. that and getting thrown out of practice. I mean, side note, that's an incredible story. I got thrown out of practice multiple times. Um, but if you, if Crean gets bounced night, well, I guess night two, not night one, as soon as they lose, I mean, that's a, that's a tough day. It's the last day of the season, but you should definitely stand up and be like, Crean, get the fuck out. And I mean, like, I don't know if you'd get in trouble for that. It sounds like you would because you work for a real company like ESPN, but I mean, I'm just saying, throw it out there. <laughs> 